Welcome back to America in Black. I'm CBS Saturday Morning co-host Michelle Miller. In the ever-expanding universe of social media influencers, there isn't anyone quite like Keith Lee. The TikTok superstar and self-taught food critic uses his platform to fight for the little guy. In this America in Black exclusive, Keith Lee opens up about his skyrocketing success and remarkable impact, otherwise known as the Keith Lee effect. His impact is undeniable. Hey guys, how many saw this man on TikTok? <laughs> when social media influencer Keith Lee posts his food reviews, this is delicious, this season is crispy. Followers show up within hours, if not minutes, to test his critiques for themselves. She says the day Keith Lee paid a visit, she only had about four other customers. Now the line wraps around the building before they even open. With a following of nearly 16 million, Lee has amplified a mom and pop food scene that might have otherwise gone unnoticed. A real world phenomenon that's become known as the Keith Lee effect. The Keith Lee effect is a catalyst. Yeah, it's a beginning of things. It's a spotlight to those places that don't have a spotlight. It's a marketing platform. It's absolutely free. Lee travels the country ordering takeout anonymously from small restaurants, but he can't go inside. He's just too recognizable. He and his family taste the food in his van. If he doesn't like it, he may not share it, but he doesn't pull any punches either, rating dishes on a scale from one to 10. The fries are like a two. Six out of 10. 8.2 out of 10. Nine out of 10. It's He's very funny. Yeah, he's really good. <laughs> very funny. 10. He gives, you, he gives you great detail. <laughs> they call you the people's champ. They call you, what do they call it? The ghetto. The ghetto food critic. The ghetto food critic. What do you prefer? Keith. <laughs> Keith, absolutely. absolutely. What is it that you do mm -hmm. that's different from what someone on a Yelp does, what someone on a TikTok does? What's the difference between what you do and what they do? Uh, I'm a normal person. And I think that's the biggest thing. So I do it for my mom. How would my mom go into a new city specifically for food and go get food? And for me, it's more or less of expanding the horizons of the locals and businesses that have great food, great customer service, but can use marketing. Uh, that's my biggest objective in this. But before becoming the super popular food influencer that we know today, Lee lived another life as a professional mixed martial arts fighter. Going by the nickname Killa, Lee began making a name for himself in the MMA world. Still, he struggled with social anxiety, which led him to making YouTube videos. Hey, my name's Keith, and I came to eat with you. Is that cool? Okay, cool. So I literally would set up the camera and I would pretend there was a thousand people looking at me even when I had four followers, five followers. Uh, and I would just talk to the camera as if it was a crowd of people. And that just turned into me doing like family content. Lee and his wife, Ronnie, began making family videos in their two-bedroom apartment. It followed their journey from being in a relationship to getting married and even through her pregnancies. Me, Keith, and Irma are the one who started all of this. Irma is my sister-in-law. That is my everything because the very first day I met her, when I was just Keith's girlfriend, she was like, y'all need to do a YouTube. Turned into me cooking because I've always had a passion for foods. For my wife, uh, she got pregnant, so I would make her pregnancy cravings. Then I would go get her pregnancy cravings. Then I would do food reviews. Did I just make it 15,000 grilled cheese? Let's find out. Just as their following began to grow, making content quickly shifted from leisure to necessity after Lee lost a fight and was released from his MMA contract. He had no concept of where his next check would come from. So picking yourself up after mm -hmm. something like that mm -hmm. was difficult. I think difficult is an understatement. I've reached a spot that I would consider the low or the bottom, and now I'm not afraid of it anymore because I've seen it. Within a few months of posting local food reviews, Lee's social media presence grew sizably. He was able to gain his first brand partnership with Wingstop ultimately finding his true calling in supporting the lesser known, largely black owned establishments. We caught up with Lee in Dallas on the first leg of his second food tour to review a local favorite. Nikki Jackson, the owner of Absolutely Edible Cakes, 
had been appealing for Lee to come for weeks with videos and custom t-shirts to get his attention. Hey, please, where are you at? Hurry up, because I'm gonna bug you till I hug you. But she had no idea he was outside tasting her food and recording a review. I got it, let's try it and rate it one to 10. I've never had a sweet potato pie that tastes like this, but I like it a lot, like a lot, a lot. As I pray and I hope, after this, you reach your target audience. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Now you have to get that lady a hug. Okay. She about to squeeze me to death. <laughs> after posting, Lee went inside to surprise the owner. That sweet potato thing, you make that by hand, don't you? I, I know do. you do. I know you do. I created the recipe. You know, I've been open mm -hmm. 22 years, mm -hmm. but. People still in my list say, I didn't even know you were here. Mm. So I would bake up desserts and then I would trash desserts. God is working. He is doing what he's supposed to do when he's supposed to do it. The day that Keith came, he was the second order. The following day, it was over 320. The line has stretched out the door every day since then. People connect to Keith Lee. So people want to go out and support what Keith Lee has endorsed, and that means a lot. Other black owners of small restaurants like Jackson say that the Keith Lee effect is not only real, but long lasting. I honestly didn't know how serious the Keith Lee effect was. So it's been about 70 days and we're still booming. Tell me before the Keith Lee effect. I was standing in my kitchen, staring out the window, questioning my life choices. I mean, it's hard getting up every day, knowing that you don't have customers, but you got to show up. You know, I was throwing away tons of pudding every week. After rallying online to get his attention, Lee and the family finally visited the Poodery, giving Janelle Prater the gift she'll never forget. This place, in my opinion, the best dessert I've ever had in my life. I agree. He <laughs> said, I can't make any promises, but I think your life is about to change. <laughs> and it did. She went from throwing away 25 containers of banana pudding each day to now selling out some 300 units daily. What do you say to people who criticize the overnight success aspect of the Keith Lee effect? I don't see how anyone could criticize it. I was able to make money to help me in the future, to provide for my family, marketing, things like that. I got tons of exposure, so I can't see where the problem is. Like, how can you be mad at that? While the success was initially overwhelming, causing three to four hour waits, Janelle has been able to restructure the business, now serving customers in less than 15 minutes. Thank you so much. Nicole Taylor, a James Beard Award-nominated food writer and author, spoke to me about the overarching effects of Keith Lee in the food space. I think that Keith Lee is powerful. He is the example of food democratization. He will go down as the person who really solidify what social media means in terms of food reviews. You really are a servant. I am. To your absolutely. people. At all times. Yeah. Your people. At all times. Yes. At all times, absolutely. And while the Keith Lee effect has attracted the interest of corporate America, Lee is being very intentional about the partnerships he and his family enter into. You said no to a lot of things. A lot. Because they want you to be a front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I won't sell my integrity for nobody. If it's not enjoyable for me, if it's not enjoyable for my family, if I can't travel with my family, if I can't have my family on the forefront, I don't want to do it. The Lee family have their sights set on taking the family food tour to a larger platform with a mission to help more overlooked businesses get the recognition they deserve. If the influencer buzz ended tomorrow, what would you do? Be Keith. I would be with my family. I'd be happy. Family, life, health, wealth. That's the real riches.